So during Monday's live stream, I just happened to check uh, in my statistics and I saw we were kind of closing in on 15,000 harvests and I looked again earlier today and now we are 23 away, which is pretty dang close. I think we can do that during this video. So that's going to be the goal and I want to try to make my 15,000th harvest a diamond. So we're going to get to 14,998 and then if we haven't like found a diamond that I can save before then, we'll kind of run around and see if maybe we can run into one. Uh, so yeah, obviously 14,999 is meant to be a can check. That's two level five males, so not very interesting, but I thought we'd start off lion time and then later on in the hunt I'll actually switch to like Gemsbuck and um, like Springbuck times. It'll be easier to rack up harvest kind of quickly because I figure if we start off with things that are slower, uh, that's going to be better than ending with things that are slower. But we might be able to get both of these. A lot of times they kind of just stand around, so we'll go for that. Went a little high just in case, but he should be good. And this one doesn't even care. Maybe we'll take all three. You went alert. Usually, yeah, they do that. Somehow I managed to avoid getting a hard shot on all three. But they're all going down and that is all we need. And we'll take a fourth. This might not take even as long as intended. Come on. Come back here. Ah, I wanted a brain shot. Uh-oh. There we go. Get out of the way because he's going to do the weird animation thing again. I kind of hope that gets fixed in the Weapon Pack 3 update. So, rip any score for that, but he is a can check anyhow. I do want to know how I managed to miss heart on all three of these. So, too high on that one. I think that was the second male we shot. This should have been the first. Too high again, and if I had to guess. Yep, shot over the heart on all three. Still, I think, I didn't look. None of them really mattered, but... Uh, I think we had full quick kill on all of them. That's not a bad mail. We'll go ahead and switch to soft points, because that's kind of what we've been doing lately. That's right about 300. Hopefully he's not... Alright, well. Maybe I'll just pick a different one. That's a three, we'll go for that. Hopefully lung? Yeah. And I think that's going to get full as well. There's a decent jackal. We might as well just take stuff while we can get it because I know things will slow down. I missed that. I don't know if I shot over him. Maybe I did. Actually, I hit that. So we're not going to get any score, but that will kill him. I'm pretty sure we've tested this already, but soft point, 289. Full quick kill. We did choose a gold, so... That was a good choice since the, our mail kind of backed out. And I did see the hunting pressure popped up kind of quick for the jackal, so we might have got something there. Okay, somehow it was medium bleed rate. What? How did I... Huh? I somehow have 7 mil soft point bullets in my Mosin? And apparently it takes the, uh, the ammo, not the gun, because... Alright, that explains a lot about how he went down that fast. Do I... I totally do. 139 on both of those. How did I do that? I've done it by accident before. I remember doing it in a stream. Alright. Now that we have that solved, we'll keep integrity for everything else we attempt to shoot with that. I didn't even realize that was there till almost too late. Did I switch to polymers again? I don't remember. No. We'll do that because it's closer range and this kind of angle I want them. I believe, yeah, that'll be good. That's a really nice four. I'd love to get a, a diamond male with some kind of fur variant. Even dark, I'd love to get like gold or beige, but I will take a, a pretty good looking four there. Dang. 907 ain't bad for dark variant I don't think I have any room for that maybe I'll save it anyway just in case there's somewhere I can put it that's a pretty cool looking one the lions are definitely not very big today but luckily we're not necessarily anyway looking for super high scoring lions 
Like I said, though, if we would find a level 9, I would just leave it and then come back for it later once we're at the uh, point we need to be to make it number 15,000. So, maybe we'll just go for brain shot. Nice. So that's going to put us to, we need 15 more. We're really flying through this already. That's actually a gold 6. That's a pretty big 4, actually. I didn't even see his tusk when I went to spot him initially. Uh, this could be, if I can get two shots into him, a decent test to make sure the Mosin is actually going to let us uh, use it again. Can I get a lung like this? Okay. Ooh, there was another decent four. And a little wabbit. But I'll leave that go, because... Yeah, rabbits are too easy. I feel like it's kind of been a long time since I've shot a kudu, and I think that'll still make gold. Not even certain about that. Can you turn back this way? That's good enough. Should be single lung. Wow, that was uh, closer to diamond than I thought, and I just managed it. Okay, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, actually. <laughs> I hit where I wanted. I got through that top lung, which was my plan. Somehow it gave me spinal cord, vertebrae, and the bottom lung. I don't really know about that one, but uh, 941. I've got that wall of Warthog that I'm working on in the Verhunga room, so that guy will look nice on there. And our little Kudu. Which they still do make gold when they're like a decent size 3814 for that guy. So, 13 more, I think. That's a little better. Although, he's trying to flee and stand in there. Still can't make a heart shot today. Luckily, it doesn't really matter on them when I'm getting broadside shots. I guess I should have known since it was uh, max weight 7. But he's upper end there. 878's not bad at all. Maybe gonna end up with one more lion, because we're pretty much the end of their drink time. I've been struggling with height on 300, so I think I'll try 7 mil. I don't know for sure that actually is 300 meters. If it is, that didn't work very good. And now I can't even see him for a follow-up. He'll probably just stand there. He was still there, and he's not really dying. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Okay, so. Note to self, don't do that again. That has not been fun. He just did not want to give it up, and he wouldn't come back to the zone. Then it ended, and I just kind of ran after him, and luckily he was just chilling in this field. So, uh, maybe we'll take that too if she's going to come back here. Because that'll put us 10 away, and I'm going to... Well, I don't know. I was going to reset the time to morning... I could just go hunt Springbuck, because that'll actually be pretty much starting right now. I think we'll do that. Okay, that's the one we want. Just take that there. I do want to quickly look and see what happened on this first shot, because I thought it was actually decent. Just too high. I guess that's my own fault, too, because it was pretty much right at 300. I guess... Oh, yeah, I do know what shot that was close to getting it done quickly. Still took forever, though. And that little gold, barely, 801, has us to 10 away, and 8 away, really, because I want to stop and basically look for a diamond at that point. So, we'll go to some Springbuck Lakes. Actually, this is usually a decent one, and since we're close, we might as well go check it. Looks like it's just these two level 3 males. I think, though, since they're kind of standing how they are, we ought to be able to get both. As long as I can get on the right one. I don't know if either one of those are gold, but that'll get us that much closer. Silver, although close. And gold on that one. Cool. So, eight away, and I spooked a herd of Willoughby's, and I think I can hear him coming back. Maybe we can get a halfway decent mail out of that if they come through here. I just about gave up waiting for these guys, but I don't ever remember seeing a herd of wildebeest that the best one that I can spot is a three. But that does seem to be the case with this one, unless there's more in the back that I didn't spot. Oh, there's a four. Go figure. But, uh, I didn't want them to all get by me. What the? Oh, I guess they have the animation too. 
Not really sure. But I know we got a spinal cord shot by accident there. So that was actually not a bad three anyway. 846, and I am not waiting for them to come back again because that took forever. There we go. I think he's the smaller four, but we will take that all day. Not bad. Got a three there, too. There's another one. Nice. So I think three more until we gotta look for a diamond, if I'm not mistaken. 862 definitely ain't a bad score anyway. And the other one's right there, which I think... Yeah, it's got the same horn shape, so it'll be in the same area. A little bigger. 871. And I think just for the sake of speeding up this last little bit, I'm just going to go switch it to Gemsbuck time and knock a couple of those out quick. Hello. Didn't expect you to just be chilling there, but I will absolutely take a free kill and finally got the dang heart shot I've been after the whole hunt. Lower end 7 this time, but actually made the shot and still a decent 854. So two more and then we're looking for a diamond. That's not a very big four, but we actually will have the opportunity to use soft points again, and I've been enjoying that. Nice of him to stop right there as well. Do you want to lift your head up? I'll probably just get a spinal cord shot by accident, to be completely honest. Actual real lung shot. Cool. So, literally, one more thing. Hopefully there'll be more games bucked down at this end, and then we can actively start looking for a diamond. Did that... Oh, that's actually the big tusks as well? I almost just completely glanced over that. Alright. Um... I need one more harvest anyway. And I can check. So I'm gonna go over here. See... Oh, there's a ton of Gimsbuck. That should be kind of perfect. Because as long as I can drop... Let me make sure I got this right. I have one down. Uh, I'll need two others. So if I can get two of these, we ought to be fine. Easy accidental spinal cord shots. Nobody's sticking around. Sometimes they sit right down here, too. Oh, that one stayed. Should be able to probably just do the same thing. Alright, nice. Now, I think the smart thing is going to be, because I have the Mosin, so Brain Shot's probably the way to go on that Warthog anyway. I think if we can just get up above him here and then scoot down to 150, we're probably best off trying to get the shot uh, from up here, unless he's turned. That's got to be him there. So I did spook him getting over here. The wind is not good. I've got that tripod, I'm just not sure that's a great idea. I think I'm probably just best off waiting here and probably when he gets alert from the wind we can go for a brain shot. Oh, he went back that way? You know what? A lung shot? Or, I was going to say a lung shot with a follow-up, but let's see if he's actually going to drink there. That's super doable. Good. All right. That was a way longer wait than expected, because I thought he was going to come back, like, up here, where he was. But, I had a lot of time to think about it, and while I was sitting thinking, the best thing about having the three Gemsbuck down, as we do, even if our Consect dies, we have enough animals down and enough room left to make number 15,000 this guy and still gain all the Consect back, so... That's kind of a nice little bonus of that working out as it did. So we've got one, and Consect's fine, so we should be completely all good there. One last check. Yeah, two more Gemsbuck will get us to 14999, and then I don't see how that Warthog doesn't make diamond unless some kind of really awful thing happens with Consec. He's got, like, the trophy-sized tusks, so pretty sure he's got to be minimum, like, 960s, 970s. So there's 998, which was a gold. And 999, which is a silver, but it's only the last one that matters now. That's a pretty awful landing, but got a screenshot to 15,000 one. So this is, I think, 2,045 hours. The 15,000th harvest in this game 
is a freaking big diamond 981. I saw that. Wait. Man. That's a heck of a 15,000th. I like the Warthog, too. My biggest diamond Warthog. That's so cool, man. And yeah, we got to use them the, uh, the 762 that did that weird bug thing at the beginning. I know this video has probably already been long, so we're going to get straight to the Trophy Lodge and get them in here. By the way, I just realized I didn't actually show it when we got them. That is number 15,000. So, we'll get them set up here. Alright, so, I think... Take that guy down because he's small. We'll put the 941 there. And I think above the doorway just makes the most sense. I don't want to have to dig for the other one that I have that's this shape. So uh, we'll leave the other in the full body and put this guy here. That's really, really cool. I think I'll probably put the other red one somewhere, the one I just had above the doorway. But look at the teeth on that. Man, that's awesome. I'm glad I chose for hunger for that. It just made sense, but man, the way that worked out. That was beautiful. Like I said, this has been a long video, so I think we will just wrap it up with that, though. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.